so important that you highlight this to the church. Let them not watch it as another news item. Oh, Mississippi River has exploded again. Oh, uh, the earthquake in Greece again. Oh, now, now again, war in Kenya. Oh, now famine has come. Let me tell you, in a twinkling of an eye, in a flash, the rapture will take place. Because he jumped from there and said, and you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death. That is the tribulation. Isaiah chapter 26, I'm reading verses 19 to 21. He says, But your dead will live. Their bodies will rise. Hallelujah. You who dwell in the dust, wake up and shout for joy. In the dust because they are asleep. When Lazarus died, and they told him, Lord, but he has died. It's four days. That place is stinking now. It's smelling. He said, no, he is not dead. He is asleep. Hallelujah. So those who are under the dust of the earth, according to the Lord, they are not dead. They are asleep. Because all of them must be woken up. But your dead will live. Their bodies will rise. You who dwell in the dust, wake up and shout for joy. Why should they shout for joy? Look at the next subsection. Your dew, it says, your dew is like the dew of the morning. The earth will give birth to her dead. And it says, go, comma, my people, comma, enter your rooms. I don't know which version you're reading, but I'm reading from NIV. NIV says, go, comma, my people, Comma, enter your rooms and shut the doors behind you. I'm talking about the door to rapture. Okay? And he says, hide yourselves for a little while until his wrath has passed by. See, the Lord is coming out of his dwelling to punish the people of the earth for their sins. The earth will disclose the blood shed upon her. And she will conceal her slain no longer. You see that? I want to end there. How does this relate to the door to rapture? When the Lord showed this vision of the rapture to Isaiah, it is amazing here that the Lord showed him the elect the remnant church that was going to be taken away through the door to rapture and the door would close. You see that? Hallelujah. And then, after that, the wrath of God would consume the four ends of the earth. That is the tribulation. And he says, you who are sleeping in the dust of the earth, Wake up. Levantity in Spanish. Wake up. And shout for joy. Why? Because your deal has arrived. Hmm? At first, when the Lord spoke with me about the daughter rapture, and he navigated me this scripture, I did not understand. Because I was looking at all the doors he has opened. When the rings were being lowered in the sky, he opened the door and the glory came out. When the, the clock was being lowered, he opened the door and the glory came out, then the clock. When the, the temple of God opened the door, glory came out, and then I saw the temple. Every time he opens the door to heaven, the glory comes out first. That's why Isaiah saw the same thing. He said, shout, wake up and shout, for your morning dew has come. That is the latter anointing of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That is the Holy Spirit that comes in the latter anointing to purge the church, to purify the church, to cleanse sin from the church because only the holy ones will enter. Only the radiant church, the glorious church will enter, by the way. By the way. Only the church that is now righteous. By the way, he also says she must be mature, having grown to full stature, telos in, in Greek. 
having grown to full maturity. That means she has grown in the faith. She has grown in, by the way, it is the holiness of the Lord that matures the church. Yeah. Don't think you'll mature by the number of years you spend in church. Don't think you'll mature in the amount of, uh, in the number of churches, or the number of people you have led to the Lord. Hallelujah. I have led today, I have led uh, 20 people, tomorrow I led 30 people, so I'm really maturing. <laughs> You are not maturing if you are not very careful. It is the holiness of God because the full stature he talks about is the reason the two wedding rings were very identical in that vision. Very similar. How can Jesus wear the same wedding ring like the church? That means the church has to measure up to the stature of Christ. The identity of Christ. To the maturity of Christ. To the holiness of Christ. That's why the Bible says, just as he who called is holy, so be holy in all you do. The Bible also says, until you attain the holiness and the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. So when you see the glory of the Lord coming down in Kenya, Hallelujah. The rain began from Kakamega. And it started raining. And a lot of rain of the Holy Spirit started coming down. And the Lord spoke the release of the four glorious horses from here, which I have now revealed. Finally, he allowed me to reveal the meaning of that, which I put into this paper very, very elaborately. You see? Talking about the four glorious Gospels that are in the Bible. Telling the pastors that as you preach the Bible, Anchor yourself on the four glorious Gospels as you preach the entire Bible. Anchor yourself. You understand? Which means root your foundation on the four glorious Gospels. You see that? And the word that cometh forth from your mouth will reach the four ends of the earth. You see that? And will clean up the church. Don't teach from other books. The church has been teaching on, on other books. The anointing for financial wealth. How to manage financial resources as a Christian. How to live healthy as a Christian. The church has been teaching the gospel of the flesh, the world, earthly gospel. Outer court. You know there was the outer court and the inner court. In the outer court there is a lot of rumors. They don't hear directly from God. And yet the curtain raptured and the Lord allowed us unwarranted, unlimited access into the Holy of Holies. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Jehovah is saying that this door that he showed Isaiah, Isaiah saw when the elect were rushing into this door and the shutting of the door for the wrath of God to pass. This is the door to the rapture. If you will catch this, you will see the wedding of the Lamb of God. There is no way you can be preaching repentance, preaching you are in the ministry of repentance, and then you miss the rapture. The rapture will not come as a church. We are going as a church. Paul says, let us be careful, lest we preach this thing, and we ourselves miss out on this thing. And it will be a shame. So it's very important to understand that this dew that comes is the latter anointing that, you know, in fact, let me tell you, at first, as the Lord was ministering to me on this, I thought the morning dew was different from the midnight dew. You see that? Because when the clock is, when the clock he showed me is 11.59 p.m., I thought this latter anointing is going to be different from the morning dew because Isaiah is saying the morning dew that takes them like this. It is one and the same thing. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Because when it strikes midnight, the morning has come. Amen. And the church has been taken. Hallelujah. You see that? Mm. So that is the glory, the Holy Spirit you see flowing in the church today. I mean, I'm talking about in Kenya. We have to bring it to other countries also. The latter glory heals the